Last year on NBA 2K20, guys, we created a Zion Williamson build that was insanely popular on my channel. And I think a big reason why is because not only was it a great slashing build, it had pro dribble moves, it could shoot the basketball, it had Hall of Fame defensive badges, and like I said, it could finish among the best slashers in the game. Today on NBA 2K21, we're looking to make the same exact type of build. You guys can see right here, this build will be able to get pro dribble moves. It's going to be able to dunk the basketball, finish around the rim, it's going to be the best build NBA 2K21. And I believe if we can shoot like this, this build's going to be a problem. So what we got today, in my opinion, is the most versatile Zion Williamson build. If you want to build like I had last year, this is going to be the perfect build for you. So we're going to choose power forward, of course. And a lot of people will go inclined to use the pure blue. In my opinion, according to last year, the blue red is just way much better. And you guys will see the stats here in a second. Now, also, if you guys are talking about why didn't you use like a small forward or a shooting guard, the defensive stats on a power forward are so much better. The dunking is still good and the ball handling is pretty much the exact same as like a guard shooting guard or small forward would be but like i said your defense is a lot better so when it comes to the physicals uh, trust me guys the balance physical once you max this build out it gets 99 overall the balance physical for this build is going to be really really good so now we're going to set our potentials and this is where it gets interesting now watch what i do and I'm telling you guys, everything's gonna work out at the end. So the very first thing we're gonna do, of course, we're gonna go to the finishing, max out our driving dunk. We're gonna go ahead and max out our standing dunk, and already we've got 11 finishing badges. Now, for the driving layup, you might be thinking to max it out, but I'm telling you guys, you only need it at a 70. And then our close shot, we're gonna be at a 78. So we're gonna get those 19 finishing badges, which is actually very good. Next, we're gonna come over to our shooting, max out our three-pointer. Now, I know it looks pretty low, but I guarantee you guys this year, these builds are gonna be able to shoot again. Every single year they talk about, you know, low shooting builds aren't gonna be able to shoot, yada, yada, yada. But trust me, guys, if this game works anything like NBA 2K20, you're 100% gonna be able to shoot. And you guys will see here in a second, we have more than enough shooting badges to where, even if they're not supposed to be able to shoot, we have a ton of shooting badges, which is gonna allow us to shoot the basketball very efficiently. As you guys can see, nine shooting badges. Next, ball handled. Now, you might think it's not the best idea to go ahead and max this out, but I will tell you at the end, and if you guys saw my build last year, I was able to speed boost. I could give you know, pro dribble moves, all that kind of stuff like that. And I'll show you guys what we end up doing for that build. I wanna go with six playmaking badges so we can get quick first step and post spin technician last year i believe i did upgrade our pass accuracy however after we watched zion play this year of course he's kind of more of that low block type of player so being able to you know use standing dunk and drops that people is going to be pretty fun and you guys will see the strength is going to be really good so these post moves is actually going to help us not only for the badges but also in the gameplay now our last category is gonna be the defense and rebounding. What we wanna do here, go ahead and max out the defensive rebounding. Our offensive rebound is only gonna go up to a 74. Our block shot, we're gonna go ahead and max that out. And then next, we wanna come up to interior defense and max all that out as well. And then this last 14, you can kind of use what you want. I think lateral quickness will probably be the best idea to use it for. We're gonna go ahead and put that to a 60. And then that's gonna give us 18 defensive badges. Now, like I said, your perimeter defense, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. If you play good defense on ball, you should be fine. Like I said, this is a slasher build. It's meant for fun. You can kind of mess around with this if you want, but I think the best way to do this for defensive badges purposes is to go ahead and go with a 60 lateral quickness so you can get those 18 defensive rebounding badges. So all in all, this build actually looks really solid. 19 finishing badges, nine shooting, six playmaking, and 18 rebounding and defensive badges for a total of 52 badges. 52 badges on a slasher build is really solid. Now when it comes to body shape, you gotta go with built or burly. I think last year I went with built. So this year I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with burly. Now you might say Zion 6'6", whatever. Uh, I think the 6'7 looks really good. You guys can see your speed, strength, vertical, and acceleration is really good. What we're end up doing with the weight is gonna go ahead and go to 261. If you guys don't know, you get a plus eight for your physicals, the four from the uh, Gatorade facility, and then the other four from when you go from 95 to 99 overall. So a total of eight extra for each one of these. So we'll have an 84 speed, 99 strength, 82 acceleration and a 95 vertical that's crazy 
Well, actually, I forgot that the wingspan, for some reason, affects your strength this year, which isn't the biggest deal, to be honest with you. I'll go ahead and take that 94 driving dunk with max wingspan. Three-pointer only goes down one. The ball handle goes down one. Um, you will be able to speed boost with this build. If somebody has floor general at all and you get takeover, you're fine. You'll be able to speed boost because the speed is going to be there as well. You can see the finishing stats are unreal. The driving layup doesn't change at all. You'll still be able to get long athlete. The close shot's still going to be an 81 so you're solid there and of course like i said your rebounding defensive stats look crazy so now you'll be able to choose your takeover which is kind of weird you'll be able to get post score and takeover on this build if you wanted to but of course for the zion slasher build we want slashing takeover and this name actually comes out to something really cool you've built a lob threat john collins blake griffin and of course the guy that we're aiming for zion williamson now let me show you guys what i'm talking about the badges of course you want to go ahead and have contact finisher hall of fame maybe fancy footwork on gold um after that you can go ahead and put on relentless i liked relentless last year acrobat i really enjoy so we'll go ahead and put both of these on gold and if you wanted to i'm telling you guys it's not really necessary you could put on lob city you can go ahead and do that maybe put this on gold maybe put this on silver put that on hall of fame whichever one you want i think this is a pretty good badge layout to be honest with you for a slasher build if you want to play like a post score you can go ahead and throw on drop stepper but I, like i said your post moves is actually good this year on this build so it should be pretty solid in that aspect now this build in general guys is going to be more of a spot up shooter type of role so what i would do i would go ahead last year i know bronze catch shoot was nice but this year you might want to go ahead and do gold for both of those hot zone hunter on gold corner specialist and catch and shoot maybe green machine maybe you want to do something like this something like that looks really good and actually looks crazy good if you get those hot spots in the corner corner specialist catch and shoot and green machine I honestly don't think you're missing a shot this year. And like I said, playmaking wise, you want, I mean, like I said, you can have quick first step. If you want to play in the post on the twos, you can throw on postman technician. If you don't, if you want to dribble, you can do something like this. Bailout obviously is a key badge this year. Like I said, you only need around six. I think six playmaking is perfect for a build like this. And then defensively, it all depends what you want to do. Clamps, maybe chase down artists on gold. Maybe you want rebound chaser. Maybe something like this, intimidator on hall of fame. Like I said, this year you get a ton of more defensive badges than I had last year. So the you know the possibilities are pretty endless. Maybe interceptor since you have a low steal. Maybe pogo stick. Whatever you want to do. Obviously, like you could change around these if you want. Pig dodger, rim protector. Whatever the case is, guys. This build absolutely looks ridiculous so hopefully you guys enjoyed i think the zion williamson build is perfect it's gonna be a lot of fun like i said you'll be able to get pro dribble moves if somebody has floor general you're gonna be able to speed boost and take over you're gonna be able to get contact dunks your driving dunk is insanely high the nine shooting badges you'll be able to shoot consistently in the corner so you won't be that much of a liability you'll be able to speed boost like i said quick first step you'll be able to take people off the dribble and you have a lot of defensive rebounding badges so all in all very well-rounded build 52 badges Badges. it looks crazy so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video let me know down below in the comment section anything else you would change like i said i made this to be versatile and kind of like how i had my build last year so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like let me know down below in the comment section any other players you guys would like for me to try to make i've got a few in my mind but if you guys really want to see something go ahead and comment it down below if you see the comment go ahead and like it so i can see it but it's been your boy dignify and i'm out peace